Hi, it's Paula from Paula Quilting. Uh, welcome to my channel and to a new series about VIPs, UFOs and leftovers. On occasion there are projects which I haven't finished for whatever reason, so I will take it all out from my baskets, my drawers, my cupboards and I will show you how I'm tackling those uh, so they can actually be finished and be either gifted out or, or all given to a charity or whatever else uh, I will find a use for them. So I hope that will inspire you to look at your own uh, unfinished projects and let's do it together. Hi everyone, this is Paula from uh, Paula Quilting. Um, Today we have a Rescuing Ugly Blocks Part 2. So if you watched the first video, you remember I made a quilt uh, from uh, strings and uh, those blocks to kind of make them look a little bit better. Now I still got some left. So the question is, what can I do with the remaining blocks? Now uh, I, I've cut them to squares and I thought maybe do some nine patches or four patches. Uh, I was thinking about doing maybe... Um, wonky star blocks but the trouble is in some of those blocks at least that contrast between uh, those snowballs and the inside is 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 not the way I would like them to look like um, is not enough so whatever I would have put inside kind of those legs will not make a sense so so um, instead of that star ones I'm just thinking maybe I should try to make a uh, wonky flower uh, design so I will add another snowball here but um, because those are quite even I'll try to make the third one a little bit more you know out of the form so I will take a strip a little bit bigger than that and just try to do something you know so it looks different than the ones I've got here so let me do that and we'll see how that first block look, looks like. So uh, the idea is that if I use a four patch, then obviously I don't have to worry about what other colors I will need to add to that um, uh, equation. So let's, let's start with those. So those blocks are three and a half inches. So as far as my strip will be at least a half uh, of that uh, space, I can put it any way around up to that bit that bit here up to the corner and it definitely will open to cover it so this one more or less is so let's see how it will look okay so let's have a look how it will now I will use the back of it to square it up And I will chain, chain piece them if that's the way I want to go forward with it. For now, I, I'm just trying to see uh, what it will look like. Okay, so I think it actually makes nice shape. So let me do the other three. And then I'll be able to put that um, uh, together and see what the flower look like. Okay, so I finished stitching them, but the fabric I used was quite crinkly. So I will iron it out now just to make sure I can square them up quite nicely. Feels like during the cutting now that they are not actually so well squared before. So while I'm on it, I might actually square them up properly. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to go lower than three on this one. So I will make them three and a quarter. That's obviously the next one I can make and just uh, square them up properly to that size. So since now I've got some room to play, I can choose which size are going to be bigger and which size are going to be smaller. So that's actually a good time as well to make those petals. Well, I think I like it better than it was before, so let me sew them together. Okay, so I think I like it enough to 
to carry on with this project. Okay, before I crack on with the rest of the flowers, I would like to try to do one more thing. Uh, I think it will look nice if I've, I have added a, a frame around it. So I will do that and also um, the second batch of the blocks I've got from that first project are those leftovers of the uh, string blocks. Okay, let me do the nine patch out of those and then add frame to this and I will square them to the same size and we'll see how it works. Okay, so block one I've added white frame to my flower, block two, those are just simple nine patches made out of those string um, blocks. They are the same size now and I think it will look really good when I've got you know them swapped around. I think that design will work for me quite nicely so what I will do now is I will go through my pile of uh, ugly blocks and I just make sure that I've got a pairs of the same um, fabric I hope at least you know the same color so you know uh, purple or violet with violet green with green on, or if I can I will actually match the same fabric so when I'm doing the flowers they will all nicely match so I need to have a two of each that project hopefully will not take so long time to finish and I will actually like the final product because that's the um, most imported beads so I will have some leftovers from here so obviously because it's a uh, three and a half ish at the moment I can actually use those strips to put on the adding tape uh, if you do not know that technique I will link it in the description and there should be a pop-up whilst you're watching as well to that video I will use every little piece of that uh, uh, those blocks to to make that quilt so hopefully there will be not many uh, loss uh, out of the fabric and the, the final product will be nice so let me crack on with that and I will come back to this video when I've got my blocks done and um, possibly some of the borders prepared so you can have a look how it goes together let me carry on so you see from cutting out of that I've got that much fabric that is going to be quite nice a uh, piece to put on the adding tape and it will go perfectly on the wider one I've got okay so I'm cracking on with my wonky flowers I just uh, wanted to show you one thing so when you have lots of seams coming together like in this point here this is you know this is a normal four patch but there's a quite a lot of chunks coming to the same point it's good to use this technique to open the seams up so uh, if I quickly show you how to go about it and to be fair it took me probably four or five of those blocks to kind of you know figure out what I'm doing with it so before you open the block so this is the seam you don't want to touch because that will uh, hold your block together that's the one uh, the last one uh, you've made in the four patch so um, what you want to do is just grab in that seam and then go through uh, each layer of what you can see above that seam and if there is any stitch here just rip it slightly and I'm just going layer by la layer to check if there's any other seam I need to um, open up and once I've done it I can now open that block and you can see they now open nicely and I can take it to the ironing board so that will make that block lie flatter in this point I have managed to put some together so uh, <laughs> I squared those uh, smaller blocks here to three and a quarter then I've added uh, one and a half each border to it and then I um, square them all of those blocks to seven and seven eighths very random um size but that's where I, you know that's where the block is now is nice and tidy uh same thing with those uh nine patches i did i did square them up to seven and a seven eighths and when you have a very strange measurements you need to um square your blocks to uh, what i did i took a sharpie but it's not the sharpie which will give you like a very um 
thick line. It's, it kind of makes a transparent line, so I, I made that square here to kind of keep me on track uh, where I want to um, square up to three and a quarter because it's, it's not something I can follow easily on the on the ruler. And I did the same thing with the bigger ruler um, to highlight seven and seven eighths. Uh, the other method you could use is to use a, a tape, the the painter's tape, and just. Um, go of the painter's tape against the line you want to square to uh, and that will kind of narrow down what you're looking at as well um, for the squaring up to the you know very random uh, measurements so I finished sewing all of my uh, wonky flowers and all of my nine patches and this is um, the amount of blocks I've managed to make uh, so I'm trying to get the grid five by seven so I do have some blocks uh, I made before, crumb blocks in pink, which I will uh, fill in the gaps you can see now here at the top and the bottom. I will use a adding tape technique to make uh, like a you know piano key type of border, but I will mix it with that um, pink which is in the string quilt uh, bits and pieces because I think I still have some so it will kind of nicely frame that. I will be using for the borders my perfect border every time technique which uh, I've recorded video recently. Again I will link it in below if you want to have a look. Just to show you one thing here I, I had some scraps of the white strip so I've used those and some of them were too short. I just you know took all of those short bits and pieces I have sewn them together first uh, with uh, with you know very narrow um, stitch, and then I used it up uh, for for the frame. So some of those frames will be like patched up uh, like here, but overall nobody will notice it. Uh, that's one and two. You know we are here to use up all the scraps, so that's what I'm doing. So I really like how that block came out. Uh, this is just a small string now uh, from those leftovers as well. So I finished my adding tape. Uh, border so um, I've used up all of those scraps which were in the uh, flower part of the uh, design but you know it's a mix mix and match really I just pull out all the purple green and blue bits and pieces and I kind of try to put that gray gray white uh, bits uh, in between every strip and you know widths are different somewhere on the angle uh, it doesn't matter, like I said before, I will link that technique uh, in the description below. So I've got still still some of that fabric, which is that one from uh, string piecing. So I will cut them to one and a half inch strips. So that will be the first layer of the uh, border. Then I will add this. And then I think I will also add that another one and a half inch at the top. So that will be quite nice and wide. Um, border which will uh, increase the size of my quilt. So uh, w w if you have seen my video about the perfect borders each each time I will cut all the pieces to the size of my block which uh, on this occasion is seven and seven eighths. <laughs> Very strange size but it is what it is. So I will cut them to that size I will also all sew them together first. It's just uh, normally I wouldn't. Normally I would just have those borders kind of uh, done um, the way like it's it's a block on the individual basis. But on this occasion, because I need to remove the paper, uh, once you do that, that that border will kind of move a, a bit. So just to hold it in place, I will put the strip here, strip here, and that will be my uh, block to use uh, on, on the quilt as a border. And here it is, my finished wonky flower uh, quilt. I think it came out very nice, and um, the size-wise, it's probably uh, something between baby and the lap quilt. So, for a little girl, I think it will be great um, quilt to use. And I think it's a great uh, wonky block to to work with if you have some uh, squares or scraps you want to use up. Uh, I think it's quite easy, it's qu quick to make but it gives you a great results and you can you know you could work with maybe more borders or if you you know swap those um, string blocks with something else it, it as well will give you a different effect so it's very versatile block I would think thank you for watching this video if you liked what you saw please uh, give your thumbs up please uh, comment 
uh, that always helps and uh, kind of motivates me to make more of those videos. Thank you for watching.